This girl says that when she was little, her mom sent her and her cousins on vacation to visit their grandmother in Santiago in the Dominican Republic. She says that her grandmother lived out in the middle of nowhere and that she lived like in the edge of a river. The rest of the land was just like fields and fields of like crops. She says that when they would stay there, all of her cousins and her would share a bed and they were tiny so they all fit on it. It was the middle of the night and she got woken up. She says that she just laid there with her eyes open just like staring at nothing. As she's laying there, out of nowhere she hears the loudest like scream coming from the left side of her grandmother's land in that moment she says she got so scared because she knows like no one should be out there she doesn't have neighbors and she was so young that she was trying to make sense of what she had just heard she said that she thought of everything she was like what if it's just the lady outside just finding out that somebody passed away in her family and she screamed or what if it's someone that special needs that left the house she was trying to make sense of it because she claims that the scream was like emotional she also started thinking oh my gosh like if someone had asked me what did it sound like it sounded just like what i would think la llorona would sound like screaming and crying for her kids in that moment she sat upright you know she's thinking of all her options and she's begging to never hear this sound again and that is when she hears the sound again but this time it was at the other side of her grandmother's land like farther away and even though she was young she thought to herself there is no way that this person or thing could have gotten to that side of the house that quickly even if they ran like she was just th there thinking for a few seconds and she heard it again from that extreme of an end she thought to herself it is impossible for this thing to have gotten there that quickly she says that as she's trying to think like oh my god again this thing screaming couldn't have gotten there she hears it for the third time but this time towards the back of the house which again was way too fast for something to have moved and like gone there to scream however she says that this time this scream was getting like farther and farther away almost like it had gone into the river and was like going down the stream she tried her best to go back to sleep and she was like cuddling up next to her cousin but she couldn't get the image out of her mind of like a woman outside screaming in pain but now maybe floating down the river like she could not make sense of this a part of her wanted to look out that window and see because she wanted to know what it was but she's thankful that she didn't look out that window that night the following morning she wakes up and asks her grandma if she heard the lady yelling outside and her grandmother said no her grandmother said that maybe it was like a lady that lived close to her house maybe she was lost and honestly she says that she never even like um explained to her that the screams were coming from like different parts of the land because she was a little scared and she just didn't want to insist that it was something scary she says that now that she's an adult she still can't make sense of it and she can still like remember the sounds that this thing was making at some points she's like what if it was a dream but then she's like no i was fully awake like that was not a dream i think she hurt la llorona that's just my opinion because like the river the scream you know oh, no thank you anyway this uh story is coming from relatos de la noche i'm gonna add the title and the screenshot of where it starts if you guys want to go listen to it in Spanish.